Delivering local news to the San Juan Basin from our studios at San Juan College, TriCityNews.tv. Hi everyone, coming up, a fire spreads at B-Square Ranch. Nominees for the Economic Development Growth Excellence Awards have been announced and the Farmington Public Library launches a community civility program. I'm Lauren Duff filling in for Scott Micklin. It's nice to see you on this Monday. TriCityNews.tv is next. If you can hold your nachos with one hand. You can be a hero with the other. Taco Bell's new beefy nacho burrito. It's the two-handed nachos you love in a one-handed burrito for only 99 cents. A pile of debris was set on fire at B-Square Ranch last Friday afternoon. Bystanders who saw the blaze from the Bloomfield Highway notified the Farmington Fire Department. The burn area was about 100 square feet and the cause is still undetermined. San Juan County Fire Department was also called to the scene and had additional resources to help put out the flames. No one was injured during the incident. B-Square Ranch is owned by Farmington resident Tommy Bolak. The 11th Annual Economic Development Growth Excellent Awards are quickly approaching and this year's nominees have been announced. According to Four Corners Economic Development spokeswoman Margaret McDaniel, the award recognizes companies that lead the way toward a better economic future for San Juan County. They are Adobe Contractors, Antelope Sales and Service, Aztec Urgent Care, BP, Industrial Cooling Exchanger, Lucky Ridge, Miller & Sons Trucking, Nappy, and Williams. Another aspect of the EDGE Awards is the high-profile speakers that come to the event each year. Former New Mexico Governor Gary Carruthers is the confirmed speaker this year. Tickets for the event are available for $35 per person and they are sold in advance for the event which is at 6.30 p.m. October 4th in the Henderson Fine Arts Center. For more information, call McDaniels at 505-566-3720. As a way to promote more civility in the community, the Farmington Public Library is launching a program titled On the Same Page. This program will look at the 25 rules to increase civic unity found in the book Choosing Civility by P.M. Forney. Copies of the books are available at the library and for anyone who has a library card. The goal of this program is to spark discussion about civility by using the book for reference. There will also be a speaker series with the first presentation at 6.30 in the evening this Thursday in the multi-purpose room of the library. The very first speaker will be this Thursday at 6.30, multi-purpose room. His name is Dr. Sean Mazur. He's from the Heart Institute. Um, he has a copy of the book, and as I've, we've talked about, we've given all of our speakers a copy of the book. We're not really sure what they're going to talk about. McFeeters says there are also Choosing Civility sessions available for businesses and organizations. For more information about these sessions, contact the Farmington Public Library at 505-599-1270. It has received nearly 11,000 calls since inception in January of 2006 and the New Mexico State Police say that the Drunk Busters hotline continues to make a tremendous impact in the arrest of drunken drivers in the state. In August alone, there were almost 1,300 calls with 144 contacts made and 39 DWI arrests. The Durango Public Library will offer a 90-minute class in how to use your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad this Friday morning from 10 to 11.30 in Program Room 2 at the library. A registration is requested by calling Dan Goldman at 970-375-3391. Now let's take a look at today's weather. For tonight, partly cloudy with a low of 59. A 30% chance for rain on Tuesday with a high of 80 and a low of 58. There is a 30% chance of rain Wednesday with a high of 77 and a low of 54. Now let's take a look at sports. Hello sports fans and week two is in the book for the high school football games. Let's go straight to that beautiful bean footage, Farmington High and Los Alamos. And we'll take a look at the Hilltoppers to start off with. They were having a lot of trouble with this mean green defense not going anywhere on this one. We'll set them back up. This is a scorpion possession. 
Under center there, that's Jacob Lucas. He'll take the snap, and away he goes. Hands that off to Austin Fouts. Fouts will get it up the middle. That'll be good for about 20 yards as the Hilltoppers set up one more time. Mm. And uh, it's just not looking good for these Hilltoppers. Where do I go? Where do I go? As the pocket collapses, you go to the ground, and Farmington High School will win that one against the Los Alamos Hilltoppers. 28-0, Farmington High 2-0 on the season. Across town, Navajo Prep takes on Wingate, and we'll see the kickoff there into the hands of Dezunka. And man, this guy can run in traffic, out of traffic. He is like a greased pig down the field, good for about 60 yards. And this is what Wingate has been dealing with all night long. We'll set this one back up in a pretty good position for Navajo Prep. Sorensen over to Maga. Maga, he's a runner too, and he'll evade that block and evade that one, and all the way down, Maga will set them up at first and goal. Sorensen once again under center, set up in a very good field position. Sorensen airs it out all the way to the waiting hands of Dezunka, knocked down, but we'll call that one good, put six on the board, Fun fact for you, Navajo Prep doesn't have a kicker, so they're going for the two-point conversion, and it's long and good into the hands of Ansira. That'll pad their lead. Final score, Navajo Prep 56, Wingate 6. Navajo Prep goes to 2-0 on the season. Elsewhere in scores across the district, Aztec High School on the road to Roswell. They played Goddard that game. Mercy ruled at the half, 63-0. Kirtland Central also on the road, 30-0, your final score against Durango. Piedra Vista in Grants, they won that one 49-25, and they'll go to 2-0 on the season. Shiprock High School advances to 1-1 with a final score over Zuni, 28-12. Finally, Bloomfield High School taking on Pewaukee, and they'll chalk up a win. They're 1-1 one one on the season as well, 25-6, your final score. Well, remember, TriCityNews.tv is the only place to see high school football highlights. And so until Friday, I'm Devin Ely. Back to you. Thanks, Devin. On behalf of all of us at Majestic Media and San Juan College, thank you for watching TriCityNews.tv. Local TV news without the TV, all in one place, whenever you want it, 24-7. See you back here on Tuesday. Marketing used to be easy. You're, you'd spend a boatload of cash on advertising, cold calls, trade shows, and direct mail, and watch the leads pour in. Now, folks are bombarded with a gajillion and one marketing messages every day. The World Wide Interweb is transforming how they shop and buy. And there's all sorts of ways to block out the messages you're trying to get through. So, yeah, the whole outbound marketing thing isn't doing the job all by itself anymore. Today, you also need to concentrate on getting customers' attention through inbound marketing, which means blogging, tweeting, social media-izing, SEO optimizing, and a bunch of other newfangled strategies. There's all these new methods and tactics, and they're all disconnected from each other. So you've got this site for one thing, that site for another. You need this platform for that thing and that program for that other thing. And now there's 50 different things to do in 50 different places. And it seems like figuring all this stuff out takes a rocket surgeon or a, a brain scientist, plus an extra 80 hours in the week to do it all. So what do you do? You know, since you're not a rocket surgeon. Majestic Media understands how daunting this brave new world can be, so they did something about it. What they created will make your marketing way more powerful. And, well, easier. Majestic Media has pulled together the best outbound and inbound marketing experts in the four corners and consolidated them into one spot, giving you a centralized, easy-to-use, unbelievably powerful marketing resource. So you can advertise on billboards, magazines, newspapers, webcasts, TV, and radio. You can blog, Facebook, tweet, optimize, capture leads, and be a feature on your customers' mobile phones. Basically everything, all through one place. Majestic Media and their team of experts have all sorts of resources, tools, and tricks to make you a marketing genius, like instantly. You'll be able to get your message to every local market and beyond. 
No more calling one place to design your stuff and then another place to print your stuff and those five places to run your ads and that other place to work on your website and trying to figure out what the heck Facebook and Twitter is all about. With Majestic Media, all your marketing is in one place with tons of people and several companies all working on your stuff. Yeah, Majestic Media is that marketing secret weapon you've been waiting for. So, make your marketing easier and more effective with Majestic Media's all-in-one marketing system. Schedule your free consultation today.